15 Unique Royal Privileges of Prince William You Never Knew As the future King of England, Prince William enjoys several special privileges that most of us could only dream of. This means William has access to some pretty cool perks that most royals don't. From having personal servants and security to never needing a passport, Prince William's life is quite different from the average person's. While he does have to fulfill royal duties and obligations, he also gets to reap many rewards. In this video, we'll uncover 15 unique perks that come along with being a senior member of the British royal family. Number 1. Access to Exclusive Properties As future King of England, Prince William has access to numerous royal residences across the United Kingdom. This includes places like Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Balmoral Castle in Scotland, Sandringham House, and more. One of the most exclusive properties William has access to is the Duchy of Cornwall Estate. This massive estate was historically used to provide income for the heir to the throne. It includes lucrative farmlands, prime commercial London properties, vacation cottages like Restermel Castle and Hlwynawermond in Wales, and more. William took over management of this estate from his father, King Charles, after he became king. In addition to royal residences, Prince William and his family use sprawling country homes like Anmer Hall, Kensington Palace, Sandringham House, and Balmoral Castle. While Prince William doesn't own most of these properties, he has unprecedented access to inhabit them at his leisure and host friends and dignitaries in them. As his role in the royal family continues to grow, William may receive more official royal residences under his own name. For now, he enjoys extensive access to the Crown's centuries-old portfolio of properties as he carries out his royal duties and raises his family. Number 2. Round-the-Clock Police Protection As a senior working member of the royal family, Prince William and his household receive 24-7 police protection from the Royalty and Specialist Protection Unit of the Metropolitan Police Service. Armed officers provide close protection duties like monitoring and securing locations Prince William visits. Police escorts and vehicles accompany him wherever he travels by road for safety. Snipers are deployed to vantage points from open-air royal events. His royal residences like Kensington Palace are also continuously guarded to deter intruders. This extensive security is funded by taxpayers through the sovereignty grant at an annual cost of over £100 million. This privilege affords Prince William peace of mind that his family is protected at all times from threats that public figures often face. Number 3. Special Currency and Stamp Recognition Senior members of the royal family sometimes have their portraits featured on limited edition British coins and stamps, a rare honor reserved for royalty. Prince William first appeared on a commemorative stamp released by the Royal Mail in 1982, shortly after his birth. More recently, the Royal Mint put William's portrait on a special £5 coin minted in honor of his 21st birthday in 2003. Only 10,000 of these collector's edition proof coins were struck. Having one's face on British currency or postage stamps is a privilege typically reserved for reigning monarchs like the King. The fact that Prince William's been featured in these special releases reflects his senior position in the royal family as a future heir to the throne. It serves as a form of recognition and also generates public interest and revenue for the royal mail and mint. Number 4. Access to Top Secret Information Due to his status as a senior royal and future heir to the throne, Prince William has access to top secret national security briefings and confidential government information. This helps prepare him for his future role as king, where he'll need to be informed on sensitive matters of state regularly. William receives occasional briefings from senior intelligence officials about threats facing in the United Kingdom and military capabilities and operations. He also may choose to sit in on cabinet meetings and request policy documents that are not publicly available. His access to top secret information and classified documents is a royal privilege not granted to other UK citizens. Number 5. Royal Veto Power Prince William and other senior royals retain a seldom used and mostly ceremonial royal veto power over any legislation that affects the private interests of the crown. This power is referred to as the king's consent or the prince's consent. If a bill directly impacts the royal prerogative, assets, or income stream of the sovereign, the palace may request changes or exercise the veto by withholding consent. 
While largely symbolic and ceremonial now, Prince William does technically possess this rare ability to veto legislation affecting the monarchy's interests, a royal privilege not shared by ordinary citizens or politicians. However, it is unlikely he would ever exercise this power outside of extreme circumstances. Number 6. Personal Flag Like other senior royals, Prince William has his own personal flag which is flown on buildings and establishments when he's in residence. His flag is a banner of the royal coat of arms surrounded by an ermine border on a dark blue background. The royal coat of arms on William's flag incorporates his various heraldic symbols. The three lions of England, the harp of Ireland, the Scottish lion rampant, and the Welsh red dragon. The ermine border indicates royal status. William's personal flag is flown on any building he occupies overnight. For example, it's raised on Kensington Palace when he's residing there or in his residence at Anmer Hall. His flag is also flown on naval bases when he's aboard for official travel. Having an individual flag design representing you is a special privilege granted by the king to senior royals and nobles. Seeing William's personal flag raised indicates his presence and status. Number 7. Diplomatic Passport As a senior royal carrying out overseas duties and tours, Prince William holds a diplomatic passport. This grants him certain privileges, like diplomatic immunity from detention or prosecution when traveling internationally. William's diplomatic passport says that the holders traveling on government business and request protection for the bearer under international treaties. This allows him to avoid regular passport control checks at borders and airports when entering foreign countries, expediting his arrivals and departures. Holding diplomatic status is an elite privilege extending certain protections overseas. William's diplomatic passport facilitates his foreign travels as a representative of the crown. Number 8. Customary Salutes and Honors In keeping with tradition, Prince William receives salutes and ceremonial honors befitting his royal rank on special occasions. For example, he receives an honorary 41-gun salute on his birthday from the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. William also receives salutes from military personnel he encounters, with naval and army units saluting him as a sign of respect. When the national anthem plays, military salute William by turning directly towards him as the senior royal present. As heir to the throne, William's also honored in formal ceremonies, such as being given the place of honor inspecting royal guardsmen on parade. These customary salutes and honors reflect William's seniority and status as a member of the royal family. Number 9. Personal Aides and Staff Prince William has access to a team of staff and personal aides who assist him professionally and personally. He has private secretaries who help manage his official schedule, correspondence, and various duties. William also can access chauffeurs, public protection officers, housekeepers, and other domestic staff to help maintain his homes and care for his family. As second in line to the throne, he receives significant taxpayer funding to cover office and household staff, enabling him to fulfill his royal obligations. Having personal staff at your service is most definitely a royal privilege. His team ensures his administrative, domestic, and security needs are covered. Number 10 freedom from jury duty. Given his royal engagements and status, Prince William is exempt from performing jury duty or any compulsory public duty postings. While not an extremely vital privilege, the fact that William cannot be called upon for jury selection or mandatory government postings sets him apart from regular citizens. It would be impractical for him to devote weeks or months at a time away from royal duties anyway in order to serve on a trial jury or public service role. Number 11. Church of England Rolls As the heir to the British throne, Prince William holds and will inherit important ceremonial positions within the Church of England that enable him to promote the church's role. However, he's expected to remain neutral on matters of church doctrine. Currently, William's most significant Church of England role is president of the Queen's School in Cheltenham. This prestigious boarding school was founded in the 19th century under a royal charter. As president, William presents awards at prize days, attends concerts and events, and generally oversees the spiritual life of the school. Upon becoming king, William will inherit the role of supreme governor of the Church of England from his father, making him the nominal leader of the church 
with the powers to appoint archbishops and bishops on the advice of the Prime Minister. William will also attend prominent Church of England events, receive bishops and deans at court, and help present honorary awards to clergy members. While avoiding matters of theology, he will be expected to serve as an ambassador for the Church's role in providing spiritual guidance to the nation. Number 12. Access to Restricted Areas as a senior member of the British royal family, Prince William is afforded access to highly secure and exclusive areas that are off-limits to most people. This special privilege stems from his status as a public figure, requiring additional protections, and his role representing the crown at official functions. One of the most common restricted zones William can enter are secure VIP sections of airports. These private suites allow the prince swift entry and exit to avoid the public crowds, and he's able to bypass long security screenings. The areas provide anonymity and increase safety. Similarly, when traveling overseas, William's status gives him access to off-limit sections of historic sites, such as entering archaeological digs or climbing up monuments most tourists are barred from for preservation reasons. His royal role also permits access to government buildings like 10 Downing Street, he can gain direct entry to the Prime Minister's office or attend briefings in situation rooms typically closed to outsiders. For functions like Remembrance Day ceremonies, William may enter guarded zones in public spaces to lay wreaths where crowds cannot go. Throughout London, his car may use blocked-off roads or sealed tunnels to efficiently bypass traffic. Number 13. Exclusive Sporting Privileges Given his patronage of sporting organizations and love of athletics, Prince William often has VIP access to major sporting events in the UK and privileged entry to members-only sporting clubs. For example, William frequently attends Wimbledon and sits in the exclusive royal box right on center court. This provides up-close viewing of the tennis championship every summer. He also attends cup final football matches and Six Nations rugby games seated in luxury boxes with premium catering and service. William can access several British sporting clubs that require long wait lists or hefty fees for most citizens. He's a member of prestigious golf clubs like the Royal and Ancient Golf Club of St. Andrews in Scotland, where he can play on exclusive courses at his leisure. The Prince has also been known to participate in pheasant hunts on royal grounds and shooting events at elite clubs. These privileged entries allow William to bypass crowds and enjoy prime sporting experiences across the UK. He gains VIP treatment like private venue tours, meeting star athletes, and mingling with club leadership. While most fans sit in jam-packed bleachers, William watches matches from the best seats in the house. Number 14. Patronages and Presidencies As future King of England, Prince William has the opportunity to provide invaluable publicity and support to charities and causes close to his heart through patronages and presidencies. One of his most personal patronages is with the Royal Marston Hospital, a pioneering cancer treatment center. William became a patron in 2007 and has made numerous visits to facilities to meet with staff and patients. His mother, Princess Diana, held the same position, continuing the family connection. William's presence shines a light on the hospital's vital research and care. Another patronage Prince William took over from his mother is Centerpoint, a charity supporting homeless youth. As their patron since 2005, William regularly visits projects and participates in fundraising events like Centerpoint's annual sleepout. His interest helps bring awareness to youth homelessness. Additionally, William serves as president of the British Academy of Film and Television Arts, BAFTA, to advocate for British creative industries. He often attends and participates in BAFTA award ceremonies, promoting British artistic intelligence. Through his charitable activities and involvement, Prince William utilizes his royal platform to make meaningful changes on issues that matter to him. Number 15. Ceremonial and State Duties As a senior member of the British royal family, Prince William carries out several important ceremonial and state duties on behalf of the Crown. One of the most high-profile annual events is Trooping the Colour, the King's official birthday parade. William joins other royals in attending and participating in the pomp-filled celebration which features a large military parade and fly past over Buckingham Palace. Another significant constitutional duty is the state opening of Parliament, where William and other royals accompany the King for the ceremonial opening of the parliamentary session. 
William's presence symbolizes the monarchy's role in governance and the fusion of the legislative, executive, and judiciary branches. William also regularly represents the king and country at state banquets held for visiting foreign dignitaries like presidents and prime ministers. As he grows older and accrues more duties, William's ceremonial and diplomatic activities will continue to grow. And there you have it, 15 special royal privileges that Prince William gets to enjoy as a senior member of the British monarchy. From having his flag and coat of arms to veto powers and diplomatic status, William's royal perks certainly set him apart from regular citizens. Let me know in the comments below which of Prince William's royal privileges you find most interesting. Also, what other unique privileges do you think Prince William has that weren't mentioned in this video? Which of these royal privileges do you find most fascinating? And if you could have any special royal perk, what would it be? Would you want to have personal staff, live in palaces, or get saluted? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on the British royal family. Click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post new content. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye!